Hello, welcome back. Today we have um, an AP Bruiser gameplay. This is gonna be a full commentary. I'm playing on a master account. Let's uh, do the runes real quick. I'm just gonna take uh, what I normally take. We're playing versus Nidalee Jungle, I believe. And that looks like a Diana mid. Um, gonna go normal runes, normal uh, summoner spells. And uh, here's a good game for AP Bruiser. Since we have a good balance of physical damage and we have a mage in the middle, kind of take advantage of, you know, AP Bruiser being tanky and also does a little bit more uh, magic damage. Versus Nidalee, it's kind of hard actually. N Nidalee is one of those champions that can pressure you early on. So we'll have to be careful. I'm specifically watching out for level two invades, level three invades, even for level four invades. I'm not sure if he's actually gonna do it though. I've seen many Nidalees do this red into my blue as well, right? Cause they can jump over this wall. So I'll probably put a ward on my, either on my blue or I'm just gonna path up into my red from blue to red. I'm thinking of doing that because I actually feel like, I actually feel like I'm not very confident about my Lucian Yumi roaming for me. So I think what I'll do here is um, path bottom to, to top here and uh, try to gank this top lane. If you see this top lane, there's Ignite versus Ghost, right? So this is a very volatile lane when you have two top laners that are melee and they don't have TPs. And this is something I always watch out for as a jungler. Um, mid lane as well, right? Melee, I mean, mid lane is not as volatile as, um, not as volatile as, uh, top lane but still two melees and no tps bot lanes we don't really have setups for ganks i'm gonna put a ward here just in case they do like a level one invade on me i'm just gonna walk down here hopefully i win this game i i'm, I'm just gonna upload this gameplay regardless of if it's a win or a loss but i think i can win i am playing on a um master account All right, we'll just start doing the first clear. Mid lane is already showing. Now the important thing that you need to watch out for as a jungler at level one is okay, Pantheon is showing right now, right? So we know uh, the Nidalee is most likely starting bot side. Um, we kind of have to be careful, yeah. So we should start pinging over here just in case something happens for our teammates. And we'll take a look at, you know, what's happening in the lanes while we're farming up. Didn't need to go for that. <laughs> Did not need to auto that. It's okay though. First game of the day, okay? First game of the day, a little rusty, but um, I think it's okay. Actually, I probably should have started thinking about itemization uh, in champion select and loading screen, but didn't really have the time to. Mid lane is getting a little low. Top lane is pushing now. Uh, I'm just going to alert my uh, top laner that, you know, there's a ward here too. <clears throat> Nidalee could be invading me right now. There's, um, Nidalee's, okay, he's actually going top. That's just unfortunate. That's fine. Okay, mid lane and top lane both die. They, they both die here. Let's take a look at Nidalee's, um, his three camps. That wave is kind of fucked for him. I'm just going to clear my camps. Actually, that looks fine. They spot where I am right now, though. So I might because that wave is pushing out. I think I'll just counter not counter, but I'm going to walk into uh, I'm going to try to link gank this. Um, I think it will work. I'm going to wait a bit. I don't know about walking down here simply because the bot lane actually has prior over there. And sometimes when, um, get level three first run, you can't just go pull him. Damn. Yeah, that's actually really good. I'm just going to get a recall right now. Let the wave, you guys see this, um, I actually would like to push it out, but he was a little behind, right? Okay. He's going to, uh, <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'll, I'll help him push it out here. Just in case Nidalee wants to do something. Okay. 
Dude. That's actually decent. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> That's fine. Are they going to be able to freeze? No. Okay, that looks okay. Actually, we just saved that lane. That's really good. So, Nidalee... Um, Nidalee was hovering. So, 20, that means he did a couple more camps. That was including the scuttle and another camp. So, I'm assuming his top side is gone. I'm going to go for um, an early bombies here. I'm going to sell this for my boots. Just going to walk down. The bottom scuttle is still there, right? So, if you're tracking the jungle correctly, we shouldn't know which camps are up. Um... Remember, mid lane is down a little bit, down 10 CS already at five minutes, and that's kind of crazy. We might need to help him out at some point, but not if he gets too far behind. Just going to go for the scuttle. Notice that there is a Cloud Drake that just spawned. I don't think I want to go for it too early. This Cloud Drake actually hurts a lot, right? Um, Sometimes when it's a Cloud Drake, I tend to not go for it because it will put me at such a low HP and I won't be able to stay on the map for farm. And here we see Nidalee up topside and he's farmed two more camps. I'm assuming his Raptor is already gone. I feel like, I mean, Nidalee is such a fast farmer. Here, I probably could have just went for the dragon. That's a bit of a mistake on me. So obviously I'm not a perfect player, <laughs> not a perfect player. But um, if I was a better player, I would have noticed, you know, immediately, hey, Nidalee is over there. I'm going to ping them coming, actually. Hopefully they don't... Ooh, he might just be dead. Okay. I don't think there's much I can do for that guy. Let's hope they don't walk here. Damn, okay. Our bot side is just absolutely losing. It's okay, though. We'll try to keep a positive mental and try to, you know, win this game. Mid is actually looking kind of juicy if he overstates this. I'm going to... Get this and I'm going to come. I have level 6. Let's see if I can catch up to him. I actually accidentally put another point into my W. That's actually very good. We get a nice shutdown on the Diana. And um, that's okay. Let's see if Nidalee actually came into my jungle. Okay, that's good. I'm actually going to let my Dragon Fury run out here. I don't... Oh my god. What? <laughs> my goodness. If Silas rotates, we can actually catch this guy. Yo, Silas. Man. Actually, just kind of good. Hopefully, he doesn't spear my ass. This Silas is a little, um, probably a little tilted. But okay, we, we actually get something back here. I'm just going to go for a recall. I'm too low. I don't want to stay in on the map for, uh, for too long at this health. I'm actually going to grab my Swirk Shoes in the middle of my Frostfire buy. I think it's okay. I'm going to walk down here. Start leveling up my E. I'm going to go for my blue buff and I'm going to rotate. Not rotate. I'm going to path top because this Rift Herald spawning 30 seconds. I do not want to give that up. Even though our bot lane is very behind. I, To be honest, I don't really mind. I don't really mind our bot lane falling behind. We, it's a Yumi, right? If we get someone fed on the other side of the map... Actually, they're over here. <clears throat> okay, that's a little sucking. Get hit by the spear. <clears throat> Dan is coming down. Try to clear out this wave first. We're in a really poor position because all my camps are spawned on this side. Okay, I already lost my Gromp. Um, he already did. He's gonna do my blue. Dana's not coming yet. Silas is gonna come first. Okay, it resets. That's very. That's fine. I don't want to die here though. That's very good. So they obviously overextended for that one. Uh, the Lucian was coming back, and the Silas was rotating, and the Diana was actually actually not rotating. They're going to fall behind from this play. It's 7 to 5. We're coming back a little bit on this bot side of the map. Darius looks like he's just doing fine. Um, we obviously want to focus for objectives. We know the top scuttle is spawned. I would like to actually go over there and grab it right now. I do have a smite. And Darius gets a 1v1. That's so good. I love that. I love that. I'm going to quickly run over, though, because... 
extend my W with that real quick. They do see me though. I don't know if I want to fight this 2v2. Yeah. Brother. Brother. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's take a look at how much gold we need. We need about 150 gold. This guy ping me. What a weirdo. There's a pink here too. Who was ping me there? I'm actually going to mute the Lucian Silas. I feel like these guys are not making good calls. I'm about to get my um, Frostfire. So let's keep our eyes on that. I need to recall for it. Um, but the Frostfire, not the Frostfire, the Rift Hilt is actually up, right? So I need to check it real quick before I back. They're obviously on it, I think. I think. No, they're not. Okay, that's cool. Alright, I'll go for a recall then. Darius has a ward on it. Um, Our camps are spawning on the bot side. Dragon is spawning as well. Now, I could actually I could actually just take a look at Zaya and notice that she's 3-0 and not go for this bottom fight. If I think I'm going to lose it, but I actually think I'm going to delay the dragon a little bit. I'm not going to do it on spawn. I'm going to wait for my ignite to come back off cooldown and um, maybe just go for the Zaya. Kill the Zaya. She has 350 shutdown. We could also go for a Rift Turtle play instead. This is kind of the two decisions that I'm thinking about. We might actually get a okay gank here. Yumi hasn't leveled up her six yet. Okay. I'm just gonna ulti. Actually, we can't get him. Okay, flash from Desire. That's really good. So, killing right before dragon spawns is just so, so beautifully nice. This guy's gonna hit a spear on me, but. Dana's coming down. I do have Ignite. Oh, the spear hits. I'm actually just gonna go on the Diana here. Actually, might have been a bad play here. Hmm. I thought we had enough damage to kill before Nidalee gets here, but I guess I kind of forgot how behind the Silas was. Okay, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna be bad for us. It's fine though. I'm gonna continue buying my um my demonic embrace. Hmm. Might actually get a dark seal this game. Just because my my mid laner, the only other guy that has magic damage, is not doing so hot, and he's buying what well, looks like Everfrost there. He's so behind. He's so behind, and um, we should just avoid. We need to avoid playing around someone like that. Treat him as a Corona patient. Let's socially distance away from him. Okay. <clears throat> Top is doing very well. We should just push our advantage up here. Does he need my help? Looks like he's already dead though. I might just um bit of a mid dev here, but I think I need to catch top wave. Dan is gonna come down middle. Might just loop around and kill the Pantheon. We'll see. Let's hope he doesn't back first. I don't have my ult, so I suspect he's in one of these bushes. <clears throat> okay, we get the frostfire slowdown. Damn. Flashes. Ooh, close, 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 close. Nidalee's down there, though. I think I just go for it. <clears throat> Damn, not long range enough. <laughs> oh, oh, that sucks. Mid lane is dying again. Mm, we need to find a way back into the game. <clears throat> this guy's making it very hard for us. I'm not sure what the solution is because our bot lane is also getting cucked a little. Okay, nice. Survives. I don't know if it's worth it to go for this Rift Herald. I'm very low, right? So if anything, if anyone just spots me out, I'm basically dead. I don't know if there are any camps up here. Okay, there's a camp. It is like post 14, so Rift Heralds are not worth it. I mean, not, not that it's not worth it, but it's just not worth as much. And I don't know if I want to spend time grabbing it. I do have my ulti now. I'll just grab these couple camps here before I recall. I won't put too much of an emphasis. 
I think the previous play though, thinking back on it, I should not have gone for a play around the Silas. And we probably should have just gone for the Rift Herald play off of our top side, right? That's what you want to do when you're behind like that. I'm going to grab my um, the Giant's Belt and I'm going to grab an Amplifying Tome. I'm going to walk out. This game, I think healing reduction will not be needed on me simply because we have a Yumi that can buy Chemtech. So we'll have that easy. Dude, come on, Luke. <laughs> Dude, what is... Dude, go to your lane, buddy. Is he actually going to try to take it? What are you doing? <clears throat> okay. We have all of our camps up on the top side. Is he actually going to try to do it? At least here. Not going to ulti that. The ward there too. I think they got her. I don't really want to ulti. I didn't see him. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, I could ignite it. Mm, I think I have some damage. Oh wait, what the? Ah, oh. <laughs> a bit troll by me. I actually didn't even see the Diana. How did I not see the Diana? I could have just ignited the Zaya to be honest. I think probably could have killed. But my Lucian actually pops off here. Pick up a couple kills. He knows this kill is worth it. But he doesn't know that he's not fast. <laughs> oh, does not realize he has the tier 2 boots and we have the tier 1 boots. Like a kind of normal game, I guess. Whatever. It's fine. Let's remember that we do have the Dark Seal. And that we do want to stack that up. <clears throat> Let's walk over. Mm, Dragon is spawning on 50. Um, it's kind of, I'm kind of dreading this. I'm kind of dreading this fight because I, because I know we're going to have to play like a 4v4 with the Silas and he's just so much weaker than, than his counterpart, right? Let's see if I can yoink a scuttle real quick. Nope. Send it over there. I don't have fury for this fight. Maybe we can get it off the gromp right before we um, go for it. But Darius won't be here. I'm thinking we just give, to be honest. Man. That sucks. Hmm. <clears throat> They're all here. No, I know. We shouldn't fight, yeah. Wanted to secure the camps, though. Didn't want to give over to camps. <clears throat> Maybe should have went for Rift Herald. Not sure if that was the better decision. Not sure if we, I could have gotten it because they also had vision on that side. On my jungle entrances. So it's just a little hard to really get anything. <clears throat> Sometimes people uh, forget. It's not as easy as just walking into the enemy jungle when you invade. You know, if you just if you're walking over vision, that stops a lot of the plays that you have. This guy, this guy's fine. He's got the blast cone to exit. This guy is actually a little overextended. You know what? Let's walk on over. He might be getting a pick on this guy. He does probably has ulti though. But they might overextend for this fight. Mm, no. Didn't think that Senna would rotate that quickly. We gotta be careful. Zaya is just really strong right now. And um, <clears throat> not just in this game, but also in the meta. <clears throat> Grab the camps on my Dragon Fury reset. Wanna get our ulti back as soon as possible. <clears throat> Actually, kinda happy. This is more of like an even game. I mean, we're kinda behind, so it's not as. But it's at least it's not a stomp from us. So I can kind of show like what a normal game looks like. There's a scuttle spawning. I'm not going to try to take the wave. I am walking over vision though. So they know they might try to. Uh... 
I, like I, I really just don't want to fight anyone. They're rotating over. Let's try to grab it before they can come over. Senna's walking into me. Okay, I'm gonna grab some wards. <clears throat> They're doing the Rift Herald. I don't want to fight though, but it looks like the Darius actually wants to do something. Nah, he's dead. We just should not fight at all, I don't think. Especially in a on like a 4v4 or 5v5. Maybe a 4v4 without the Silas. But <clears throat> like that doesn't seem very that doesn't seem very uh realistic. Team is fighting. Can I get something? <clears throat> Baron is spawn though. If we die if we die over here without getting without getting anything back, we're probably going to lose the Baron. <clears throat> we are like two levels up on the Nidalee. We gotta find a way though. If this guy is dead again. <clears throat> they might go for the um no vision here though. Maybe Zyle walk into me. Okay, that E was poor. But we pick up a kill on the Zaya. That's actually really good. They have Rift Herald running top lane though. So I should probably recall. Two people there. Hmm, let me think. I need to get my Fury back. So I have Demonic by. We, we're not going to lose our base turret here. I think because my team is not really backing me up, I'm going to get a stopwatch to get a little more value out of, out of this, these fights. Because <clears throat> I, I need to go aggro, right? I need to go really aggro for the, uh, the Zaya. They're probably taking our Krux here. I'm going to grab the Raptors camp for my Fury. And uh, we are down a dragon, so we should be <clears throat> we should be looking to fight this next dragon. A scuttle spawning topside. The Nidalee is still up there. We are like about 40 CS up on the Nidalee. That's something to keep in mind is that we are ahead in the jungle. And um, the Zaya just used her ulti. Maybe not back up yet. I think the cooldown is pretty long on that ultimate. Uh, should we head on over? Looks like they're playing for the top scuttle. They're not actually down here getting vision, so I might actually be able to sneak in here. Okay, looks like they have a... Uh... Might be able to sneak something here. Okay, we'll get... The Pantheon is actually gonna... Gotta be careful, I don't want to get engaged on here. I do have a, I do have a stopwatch. Can land another. Fire. Oh, very, very nice from the Silas. That is huge. And this Pantheon will die too. If we kill the Nidalee as well, we can actually go for Baron next. Just go for Dragon, and then we'll go for the Baron as well. Coming to the Baron, I think I'll do the uh, Dragon. Tell my team to go there. I don't know why Silas is here. He's not really going to contribute much to this Dragon kill. All right, let's head on over to the Baron. This is actually very good. Kind of a big bait by um, the uh, the bot lane in us. And they commit a little too hard onto something they couldn't handle. Very nice flank by the Silas. Very happy that he is coming back into the game. <laughs> he's, uh, he's on one item, but we should be... This is a really big gold swing. And um, usually when you get a big gold swing like this, the game is almost impossible to come back if you were that far ahead. If you were that far ahead and you lose a fight, it's going to be big on morale as well. So I'm going to get a recall here. Um, I don't actually have gold to buy the Zanyas, but I think I'll just go ahead and purchase uh, the Fiendish Codex and we'll head out here. I might even buy an Elixir if I'm really trying to push for an end or if there's a really big fight coming up for a dragon or something like that. But there's no such thing, okay? Actually, maybe buying a couple pink words for the siege is actually good as well. But I just went for some value on the item. Looks like they're forcing another fight or something. Looks pretty bad though. I'm actually gonna clear out a couple wards here. We'll use this scrying orb as well. Darius is a push down in the bot lane. And we want to finish out the game. Um, we want to close out the game by.
pushing into the enemy territory. The Darius is getting a push down in bot lane. I'm just trying to clear some vision here. As long as we don't get engaged in the mid lane, we should be looking really good. Continuously, actually, this looks fine as well. I'm just gonna ignite that. I have a stopwatch. I'm just gonna stopwatch. I'm probably dead to the Zaya. Oh, that was a little too early on the. Uh... <clears throat> Darius is still pushing. Um, I don't want to overcommit. We have Baron, so. <laughs> Thought he was jumping on me, so I red smited. It's okay though. Um, we trade one for one, but Darius gets a push on the two turrets. So overall, that's actually still pretty good for us. I do have a Zanya's buy right now on on a recall, but I think I'll grab the camps real quick. Did this guy just ping me away from a blue? Fine. No, it's actually probably the smart play. I don't need mana. I'll hand it over to the Yumi. Yumi is pretty useful a champion, actually. And he'll be able to give me heals. I'm gonna grab the uh, bottom scuttle real quick before I recall for my Zanyas. And I think I just want to play a little more aggressive now. Uh, once I get my Zanyas, let's think what else to buy. I'm gonna get a recall real quick. <clears throat> I think in general we just we can probably just go for this. I, my team. Um, I think I have enough damage right now. Like, they're not very tanky, right? These, these guys are not very tanky. Uh, I think I'll just grab the war mogs. War mogs and, and allow us to play more aggressive. Let's see. He's actually jumping on the Darius. That is really weird. So I don't think they can actually kill him. I don't remember, though. Fireball there. We'll just keep on chasing the Senna down. Oh, the Zaz is in the middle, so. Get a kill there. And um, they're committing to the Silas again. Don't think that's something they can actually do. Okay, that puts up that shield. Obviously, wait for it. <laughs> oh my god. Pulls him over back. Says, do not leave me. I have loved you for 20 years. Why would you leave me at a crucial point like this? Let's push down maybe top lane. Actually, let's take a look at the objectives. Uh, their blue buff is spawning. Top lane, there's no turrets. I think I'll grab the Gromp. Obviously, we do want to play for objectives, right? Zaya was dead. I think they traded one for one in the mid lane. Blue buff is spawning again. I have my Fury back. Is he actually going to try to kill the Darius? Because that would be really weird. Someone's going to jump on him. That was very good. Nidalee's on the other side. He's not going to hit me with it. gonna use a stopwatch <clears throat> Ooh, maybe a little bait here actually looks like we can't get anything else mm, don't hit that's okay dragon spawn in 20 i uh, honestly i think because pantheon's dead i think we can just go for it maybe give the silas some heals or something but i don't really think they could have contest because Zaya is top lane, the only three people. Maybe they can try to steal, but probably not. Ooh. We actually don't clear the ward out. That's actually kind of bad for us. I don't have... um. Let me try to steal this. Not steal it. <sighs> okay, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, he gets a kill. I have Fury. Is he walking to me? No. I'm gonna get a recall. Um, because we have enough gold, looks like. Wait, is he actually walking? Is someone coming? Actually, no. Gotta be careful, the Zaya. Probably dead to demonic. Lucian landed enough damage, and um, it's looking kind of good. Their rep of is spawning. I have actually have a lot of gold. I probably shouldn't be overstaying like this, but. Three people dead. I am kind of attracted to enemy red buff. Not in that weird way, but you know, I love stealing this camp. <laughs> so I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay for it. Ooh, canceled my auto there a little. Also, Baron buff is spawning. Maybe we actually just head on over there. Zed is dead for another 15. Can we just go for it? Guys, maybe not. I have a lot of gold. I would like to buy maybe. 
just the war mogs. Maybe actually, <laughs> you know what? Maybe we could just get the uh, spirit visage, to be honest. We could also go for... That's a little sad. I do have Zanyas, though. I would like this guy to... I don't think we want to fight without the Lucian. I actually do not think we want to fight without the Lucian. The Dyna looks like he's going for a flank from behind. Um, if they do start up the Baron, I will go for a steal. I do have Smite. I do have ulti. Siobhan is very good at stealing the, the objectives. Looks like they're confident in their Smite. So I don't know. Okay, they do engage though. Okay, I'm going to come in here. Okay, that guy actually blocks out the Fireball. Hmm very good and they can't even do much we don't have time to end i don't think the wave is in the mid lane it's like in the center of the map why don't we do this i don't think we have enough time to get to the nexus my team is um i mean they can just do it i mean we can solo it we have a cat on us so before the fight i was thinking maybe we get spear visage to actually help out with um what's going on with the yumi healing like that might be good Wait, do we have time to end, actually? <laughs> I might be... I might have underestimated our push. I'm not sure, actually. I don't want to be... I don't, I'm don't. i not certain. It's fine, though. We, we, I mean, we get Baron as well, so... We have so much gold. I would like to get a recall. Let's just get a recall. That's fine. He's dead. It's okay. Mmm... I think I actually will. You know what? Let's just let's just buy a spirit visage for fun, and I'll buy this um, Magi's. <clears throat> it's not even really for fun. I mean, they do have Nidalee, they do have Diana. Um, but that's it though. But that's it. <laughs> it's okay. It's not the worst. Like increasing the healing is okay. Um, let's take a look. Maybe we can just. Run in for that inhibitor. That's the only inhibitor up. It's kind of low. Let's check for wards here. If anyone walks into us, then it's top lane. We'll just go for it. There's, I don't think they can really stop us. We do have... um. Okay, bit of a miss from the... Uh... It's okay, though. Does it really matter? Always watch out for, you know, people... Not noticing that you have your fireball back up. And uh, we're just we're just too tanky. Beautiful. And um looks like uh we're gonna end this game. <clears throat> kinda good game. Kinda shows how to play from behind. We had the uh mid lane kind of dying a lot. But that's fine as long as we keep a positive mental right guys positive mental and not we'll go into golden mode and uh that's a good game thanks for watching uh that was the full commentary for an ap bruiser game if you like that make sure to subscribe for more and um see you next time